Okay, let's say welcome again to another edition of our video on Benjamin Academics back here on YouTube. Today we are going to be explaining to you how we're going to pass GC 2021. It is very simple. When you follow this concept, you revise with this concept. On Monday, when you'll be inside the hall, it'll be very simple for you. It'll be a very easy task for you to pass GC 2021 advanced level. Now, in advanced level, to, in advanced level, we have um, um, top um, um, branches like we have the physical geography, we have um, human and economic ge geography, and we have environmental and development issues. Now, on these various topics, you are to answer four questions. That is talking about paper two. You just ask to answer just four questions in paper two. And now answering four questions in paper two, it shows that you have to take one question from physical geography, you take one question from um, um, human and economic, and you take one from development and environmental issues. Now, how can you do to pass geography or to revise without, an, without any problem or passing geography? Now, in question one, they will set from where? Um, question one, they can either set from hydrology, climatology, or methodology. Now, in this theory, it will be needless for a student who is preparing in a in, in few days ahead to study hydrology, climatology, and methodology. No, you cannot be studying these three topics to go and prepare for, for GCE in, in less than no time, in two, in two days or one day time. Now, what topics can you prepare for to just go and write the, the nonsense and leave that place? Now, you have to study things like what? Geomorphology. Now, under geomorphology, we have um, structural geomorphology, we have dynamic geomorphology, we have coastal geomorphology, and then we have hazard. But now, they have removed coastal geomorphology. So what we are having that is left with us is what? Structural and dynamic and um, hazard. So if you study those two, those three topics, you are prepared for what? For geomorphology. And then you can revise and then you are already satisfied for geomorphology. And if you see that geomorphology is very difficult, you go to biogeography. Now, in biogeography, we have things like um, vegetation, soil, and ecosystem. These are the three um, topics that we can study in what in um, um, uh, biogeography. Now, if you are revising on those three topics, or if you have already worked on it, you have read it, and then you are revising now, you know that you are already prepared for for, for biogeography. So, between these two topics, if should in case a student like you already know these um, two topics, um, biogeography and geomorphology, then you are prepared already for two questions for advanced level 2021. Now, on the other part, we have what? Uh, population, settlement, and economic activities. Now here they can either pick, they can, from here they can say question, one question must always come from here, one question must come from here, and one question must come from here. From here it is somehow complicated because you, you have to study what transport, here you have to study what um, industries, and here you have to study what agriculture. So in this three now, it will depend on you. If you in case you understand this topic very well, then you just pick it because it's very simple for you. Now, on this other part, they can either set on development or environmental issues. If you see that development issues is the best, you pick a question for uh, uh, development or environmental issues. Now, coming back to it, it shows that if you understand geomorphology, you pick a question from geomorphology. But if you know that you don't understand geomorphology, you pick a question from biogeography, where you revise biogeography very well so they can get a question. And if you know that you understand settlement or population or economic activities, any of them that you understand, you pick one question from there. That's how it is being said. And here, if any of them that comes, you pick a question from there. So that's how it is always being said. So if, if I'm you, I'll just revise one topic from here or two topics from here or two branches, one from here, one from here, and prepare for, for advanced level 2021. Now, going to paper three, we have um, actually four questions that you must answer. One question must come from map work. That's a compulsory question. It comes about 30 marks. Now, um, um, field trip, it is what you study in, in, uh, in, in the field trip that you went to. Maybe some of you that are in Douala went for field trip in Kribi. Some of you went for field trips at different, different areas. Now, if you study any, if you study um, 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 field trip, you are, or you revise what you, you learn at field trip, that is either stream velocity or soils or um, oral, oral, um, urban land use or rural land use, you are already um, um, qualified to, to answer a question. And then on the other part, we have um, Kamon Geography. On the first part of Kamon Geography, they can give you a map for you to arrange, um, put some features in it, and then um, um, draw and then comment on them, some state um, um, things like that. So you are already um, being, let's say, for example, you know how to locate, um, let's say, for example, they say you should locate Bamenda in a map and then name and all the like. 
we already we already sure of what of a question there. Or if you in case you are being asked a different question. So in um paper three, you have to answer four questions. Two questions come from Cameroon geography, one question from FIWO, and one question from Mapbo. So you just answer this four here, and then here you come, you pick your own four random four. One question must come from from um, section C, one from section B, with human and economic, and one from section A. So if you answer two year, one year, one year, you are, you are sure. Or if you answer two year, one year, one year, you are still survived. If you answer two year, one year, one year, you have survived. You have survived for it. And same for what? For paper three. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you press the subscription button to subscribe to always get our videos. In our past previous videos on history, our lectures, our orientations have already been the best. Looking at um, the Fumban conference, it was there live and direct. The way we explain it, it was just there. Other aspects have been coming as, as we explained. In the PPC curve, where we explained, it came in paper one, and paper two economics and paper three economics. So you see that Benjamin Academics is there to help students and to explain some detailed things to them. We are hoping to see you in our next video when you press the subscription button so that you should be notified and comment so that we should see what you think about our videos. Goodbye. See you in our next video.